for champion and challenger. Sabu won that title a few weeks ago at Las Vegas in your house three. About taking a ring announcer for the introductions. Introducing, Introducing the, the challenger, challenger from Palm Springs, from Palm Florida. Springs Florida. Weighing in at 200, 31 pounds. EC3, Ethan Carter the third. What's the ovation for the challenger? 
an ovation. Introducing, Introducing the, the champion. champion. From Bombay, From Bombay India. India. Weighing in at 200. 200 35 pounds. pounds. He, is he is the, the HWF European, European champion. champion. The homicidal, suicidal, death defying Sabu. Oh, yeah. Well, Sabu. This is his type of match right here, no doubt about that. Right down his alleyway back in ECW. He's been through a lot of his time. Barbed wires, tables, chairs, you name it. He's been through a lot in his time. And right now, though, folks, the rules of this hardcore match are simple. No disqualifications, no countouts, and pinfalls and submissions count anywhere. This is Sabu's type of match. And Sabu wasting no time going after Ethan Carter the third, EC3. Right now, though, folks, Jericho did announce that he did cast in his rematch clause against Raven. And we later on tonight in our main event, the, the HWF World Heavyweight title will be on the line as Raven will defend his title against Chris Jericho. And Chris Jericho did point out earlier, right before we came on the air here, that if he does win the title, it will, it will be Tommy Dreamer versus Chris Jericho at TNW Revolution coming up next month. At 412, is obviously looking up backstage or somewhere in the locker room or somewhere in the TNW tour bus knowing that one of his one of his friends from that one of his uh, big time friends that he's known from TNW and for a long time Shadow Fiend will be in action coming up next after this match. Yeah, though everyone from TNW obviously get, looking on from the tour bus seeing this epic match. Right, off his feet. Yeah, right now, though, Chris Jericho did point out that if he did win the World Heavyweight title later on in our main event, that it will be Tommy Dreamer versus Jericho for the title within next month at Revolution. Look at Sorry, brother, folks. But right now, here we go. As Camel Clutch applied by Sabu, shades of his uncle, the original Sheik. And EC3 escaping the Camel Clutch. Calling me surprised, Michael. Sabu ain't gonna give up on this title defense because he won that title for the first time in his career. After winning the title by taking out Shelton Benjamin ever since TNW Las Vegas in your house three. Right now, look at this. Sabu with a counter. And Sabu from the second row. Bulldog off the second row. What a move by Sabu. To the top, and now Sabu, here he goes, with the Arabian Skull Crusher from the top. He might have, uh -oh. but he's got to capitalize now. Sabu looking for the camel clutch a second time. There it is. Shades of his uncle, the original Sheik. He's back in control. He's gonna break his back and make him humble. Are we gonna see it? No. And EC3 again escapes the dreaded camel clutch. Energy did he exhaust fighting his way out? EC3 right now with Sabu sends him off to the corner. Get to the gut from Sabu. What are we going to see here? And a swing and neck breaker by EC3. EC3 fired up here in this hardcore matchup. And wait a minute. EC3 with the roll throw. And there's a kick out at one by the champion, Sabu. In matches like this, guys, you learn very This is an unbelievable match we are witnessing here as EC3 is getting an opportunity for the title. EC3 slammed it, but may have tired himself out there. And now EC3 trying to get up to so use the ropes as leverage after that slam on Sabu. Sabu with a clothesline, caught EC3 right in the face. Come here, come on, champion retain. You know, and a kick out. Regarding Corey's point about superstars having what it takes to This is an unbelievable extreme. match here. We are witnessing as EC3 is trying to give it his all to win his first championship. Arm wrench into the big move from EC3. He nailed it. Wait a minute. Where's EC3 going here? Remember, it's a hardcore matchup. Anything is legal. No disqualifications. Uh oh. EC3 bringing a table into play. Dream rules matches create a type of. I don't know if that was a good idea on EC3's part. Even more difficult. Now Sabu caught EC3, sends him off to the corner into a drop kick to the back. And an uppercut from Sabu and a leg drop by the homicidal genocide. Suicidal 
side, oh, death oh, defying oh, Sabu. Still just how Trying to give it his all here. And a pile driver from Sabu. But he's three back up. It was a right hand, a kick from Sabu. Uh oh. What's Sabu gonna do here? And oh my god! Sabu launched himself from the top row! Oh, he's in trouble here. That's why they call him homicidal, suicidal, death defying. Looking at it here. And Sabu with the Oh my god! A pile driver as he spiked him on the outside of this hardcore matchup. The cover! Two! Three! And Sabu is still the champion! Match is over. Sabu's still champion here! My god, what a hardcore matchup we just witnessed! Look at this! The Arabian Skull Crusher from the top! And then EC3 escaped the dreaded camel clutch two times! Almost forgot about this and then, one. There it is, that clothesline that caught him right in the face. Highlight for one And then star. that big oh, move from EC3 taking out Sabu. And this is how he ended it. And then a pile driver in the ring. Let's take it our ring announcer for the introductions for this man. Here is, Here is your winner, and still the HWF European Champion. Has successfully walked out of this hardcore matchup, knowing this is Sabu's type of a match. And he survived by taking out EC3 as he meets Eric Young next month at TNW Revolution. Right now, folks, we're not done here yet because coming up next, it's the AWE Championship on the line. First time in HWF history we're having a TNW match. Tables, ladders, and chairs. Shadow Fiend versus Onslaught for Onslaught's AWE Championship. And that matchup is coming up next.